century pass to Rodgers. That looked like he double dribbled. Walker lost the ball. And Kidd is fouled. Eric Strickland with the foul. Uh, it's got a little rough right now. I thought Rodney Rogers walked. I thought Jason might have traveled before he dribbled into the man. Celtics in the penalty. So Jason Kidd will go to the free throw line. He's 79% from the line in this series as Anderson getting a breather. But he's 84% in the playoffs. They need Anderson back on the floor the way he's played. Steve Javi right now is bringing over one of the security officers to talk to a fan who really got into his face and was close to contact after that last call. The officer tells him, hey, just control yourself. Now, the officials have a right to tell the security to throw him out of the, out of the arena if he feels that the guy went over the line. I don't think they're going to throw him no, out. He but... said next time, he said, once more and you're gone. Right now, they have about four security officers here. Javi's been in the league 16 years. He's done a lot of big games, so he's given the guy a little leeway, but he was very close to Javi when he was yelling at him. This kid with some big free throws. I think Steve's throwing fans out, mascots out, players out, coaches out. And it was going on even a little bit before that. So security right around the fan. Jason Kidd, by the way, with his numbers tonight, averaging a triple-double. Averaging a triple-double for the series. And a fan just threw a cup on the floor, so Steve Javi halts play. Security trying to tend to the matter. That came, that was not from the same courtside people. It came from deeper in the stands, about five or six rows in. And a nice thing, the fans in the area of the person who threw it pointing him out so security can throw him out. Byron Scott wants the clock just to tick off. Will Chamberlain in 1967, Irvin Magic Johnson in 1983 averaged a triple-double in the conference finals. 